Okay, we continue today's press conference. We have defender Kevin O'Toole. If you have any questions, please raise your hand. <clears throat> Scott? All right. Hey, Kevin, how are you? Scott Church and Stream Punk Sports. Um, kind of a big goal last week. Uh, talk about a little bit about that and how the emotions of that are carrying forward against Cincy this week. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, it felt great. I mean, <laughs> obviously it was my first MLS goal, first goal for the club, and more importantly, it was in a winning effort. And, I mean, that's that's the key thing, right, is we obviously got off to a bit of a slow start. And um, to have that moment in such an important game for us in front of our home fans, it meant everything. So, yeah, I'm really thrilled, and I think it'll – it gives confidence for me going into the next game, um, and I think it gives confidence to the group that, you know, we can play a tough team at home, go down a man, and still still holds hold mm -hmm. out and um, keep that result. Anthony, uh, Anthony Merced, AGM Sports. Um, Kevin, can you talk a little bit about what um, the vibe was like in the locker room after the game, after that big win, and what kind of relief it felt coming off uh, the shoulders? Yeah, it was it was definitely a big relief. Um, you know, it was two home games in a row, and we have a tough away stretch so it was definitely big relief but also just really great energy and like confidence within the group I think we really um, kind of showed ourselves that we can we can battle in these games and even when we are down a man and, and kind of backs against the wall that we can um, you know come away with three points so it was yeah definitely um, relief elation and all, all the all the positive emotions we'll go on to the zoom Alec Hey, Kevin, Alec Kossoff, Black Girl Footy. Um, I wanted to talk about your goal, actually, congratulations. Um, I I noticed your positioning was particularly interesting. It's a wonder if you just guys run through the middle there. Um, but I wanted to know if there was something particular again in Toronto or something that maybe Nick has told you to kind of support the midfield and, and be kind of a labor riding runner in those moments. Yeah, yeah. I think part of, the, part of the idea was that we want to get numbers in the box and – you know, Nick give, gives me the liberties to go get in the box if, if the opportunity is there. Um, and that, Keaton was kind of giving us balance, and that, at that point he, he had played the ball to Hooli and he was kind of sealing off the box. And so um, if Keaton's not the one getting in the box, I think I have an opportunity to get in myself. And so I just kind of went for it because I saw kind of a big gap between the outside back and the center back, and, and Hooli just played an unbelievable ball. Um, and I was fortunately able to finish it. How are you? Kevin, how do you ever say your voice? Um, um, what did what did scoring that goal mean? Like, I know the St. Patrick's Day was like right around the weekend. Then and you, you said you may want to play for the Irish national team. Like, did that even have more of an impact? Then did you envision your first goal going that way, or did you even beat the feeling that you expected? Yeah, it was pretty cool doing it on St. Patrick's Day, and you know, I had I had some uh, family visiting me from um, from Venezuela as well, and so to score with her in the crowd. Um, it was my aunt who I hadn't seen in like 10 plus years. And so it was really special to do it um, in, in that way, in that timing. Um, but obviously more importantly, just in this moment, in this season, um, it, it just felt amazing. Mohammed, Mohammed with the exchange. So you played in Princeton before in high school, or in the college, so rather. And you played more in a midfielder slash forward role. What made you change into a defender, or was that a coach's decision or your decision? Yeah, I guess it happened a few years ago when um, we were kind of in the thick of the season and we had some injuries in the position, and I just felt like it was a, a place that I could be comfortable in and, and kind of learn and grow into. I had sort of played it a little bit in my academy years. I played it for a couple years, but then transitioned more into like attacking roles. And then obviously when I was at Princeton, I, I played four or five years where I was just playing as a winger or a forward. And the transition felt normal to me. I think the way we like to play is getting forward with our outside back. So that was, it felt like a natural transition to, to be getting into the attack. Um, and that's something I'm comfortable with. And then kind of just learning the positioning and defensive bits along the way. Back to the Zoom, Michael. Kevin, uh, Mike Tanner from Blue City Radio. We start with a comment and say, uh, I apologize for not being able to talk to you. Uh, I'm sure uh, after scoring that goal, you probably were expected to be surrounded by media, but uh, you got to blame that one on Nick. He took too long in his comment, so we couldn't get back that onto uh, the mix, mix zone before he, uh, before he finished that you had already left. But uh, my question is, uh, confidence plays such an important part in the sport. Uh, last year, uh, 
or sorry, two seasons ago, you finished off the season strong, and then NYCFC went out there and signed an international uh, left back. You got to feel much more confident now that they saw between you and Christian, they had that uh, position locked down. They didn't have to do a lot more uh, building of the roster, right? Yeah, absolutely. It definitely gave me confidence, and I think you know at the end of the day, the the confidence as a player that. Um, really sticks with you is the one that you get from from the coaching staff and the front office and, and that that you get from the players so just having um, having kind of their blessing and, and and being able to to play these consistent minutes is, is really kind of all I need um, and all the confidence I could really ask for and then the rest is just um, you know between the years uh, how you manage it anyone else uh, Mo just brought, George Martinez from the exchange. Uh, Mo just brought up about you playing different positions. Uh, as people are starting to win the loud because of what's happening this week internationally, is it a conversation that comes up between you and coach that you could possibly play someplace else if need be? Um, we haven't really had that conversation. I think um, it's more a matter of you know guys filling holes um, because we have you know really strong guys that haven't played big minutes this year that will you know should get opportunities this weekend. So. It's more about just playing in, in the similar position that I that I've been in, and um, and yeah, guys are guys are ready to step up and, and give a big effort. Anyone else? Great, thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you.